School safety has become one of Michigan's children's most important issues. I am Tony Wells reporting from Detroit. Michigan Children, an independent child advocacy organization, hosted a school safety summit at Wayne County Community College to inform community members about the school crisis going on in our city and to also find solutions. According to reports from Michigan's Children, 21% of students in Detroit who would have graduated on time during the traditional four-year high school path in 2008 left high school without a diploma. Another 1,300 did not graduate on time. Kathleen Strauss, president of the State Board of Education, said bullying is one of the biggest problems in Michigan schools today. And when the state implemented the no bullying policy in 2006, there was an overwhelming interest from the media and citizens. Strauss knew that bullying was a serious issue. It's about keeping schools safe, uh, the importance of having safe schools in order for it to create a good learning environment for children. They can't learn if they don't feel safe in the schools. And they have to have safe routes to schools so that they can get there and get home again without being attacked and something bad happening to them. We have a high number of kids in the city of Detroit who have missed at least one day of school in the last month because they're afraid to go to school. Now this is not a, uh, a good thing for kids. If they're not in school, they're not going to be learning. So we need to figure out what it is that makes them feel safer and so that they come to school and they're ready to learn and they're not stressed out and they're not worried about what's going to happen with the gang after school. Uh, and this takes everybody participating in this. I mean, it's not a police issue alone. It's not a school issue alone, but it's a community issue. Various advocacy groups, along with the Detroit Police Department, are actively involved in school safety issues and fully support the efforts of Michigan's children. Well, school safety is everybody's issue. Uh, it's not this is a local issue, it's a state issue, it's a national issue. You know, one of the things that we really need to do is to ensure that kids are have a safe environment to, from, and in school. So if they have a safe environment, then they can learn. Uh, apply more of their thought process to learn. City Year is a national nonprofit group that unites young people of all backgrounds for a year of full-time service, giving them skills and the opportunity to positively change the lives of others. They go into schools to offer their services. We work at Cody High School and they've had, and over the summer they had some issues with safety in their school and um, I really love that we are actually there to be a part of it and trying to um, better it. And I know that it is an issue in not only um, Detroit area public schools, but public schools around this whole area, like was said earlier today. Bullying is not the only reason children are too scared to go to school. Gang violence is a reoccurring problem in Detroit neighborhoods, and Lanya Sherrod knows that all too well. She has spent the last six years as a youth advocate. Before graduating from high school and enrolling at Wayne State University, where she is a third year student studying criminal justice, she was in a gang. Basically, like financial, it was like it was there, but it wasn't there. But at the same time, it was so easy for me to join the gang because I had friends and family already in the gang. And I didn't have to get jumped in, I didn't have to do nothing. I just got into the gang. It was easy money. I got it, whatever I wanted. I can do I could do anything I wanted into schools, out in the streets with, you know, not even getting in trouble by police, teachers or whatever. But it was easy for me to pass because I had teachers that was on my side. Uh, security guards never checked me because they already knew me. And I just had this bad image in me and I realized that I really didn't want that image no more. And Still to this day, I do still have gang members as friends because that's that's my family. Gangs are family, and sometimes you might not have a family that was very supportive or very involved in your life. And even though they are still gang members, they do still go to attend school. Some have graduated, you know, and that's just the life that that's all they know. Parental involvement is like one of the overarching issues. Uh, in the city and trying to get parents to, to value their children's education and to you know be engaged to make sure that the kids are where they're supposed to be and doing their homework and are supported uh, for their work. If, they, if the kids lack that kind of support, they're, they're susceptible to being lured or influenced by other people, negative people, like people in 
games and stuff like that. So parents must step up. They have to be involved in this. If they're not, uh, the chances of success for their children really, really go down. Getting out of a gang is not an easy task. You typically have two choices. Get permission from the gang leader or move out of town. And going to authorities could pose a major risk. The Detroit Police Department has actively tried to combat the gang problems in the city. You know, how important is it because if there's ever a violation of school safety or uh, we're the ones that are called. So it's very important for us to get involved in school safety on the front end and hopefully it will, on the back side of it, we won't have as many instances where there's a, p a breach of the peace in the school. So once there's a breach of the peace in the school, then we have to come in and we come in in, in a different mode, if you will, to, to correct that issue. And City Year works with many kids affected by gangs. And summits like this give youth a voice. City of Detroit is a national nonprofit for 17 to 24 year olds that commit their um, 10 months to full time community service, mentoring, tutoring, um, and running after school programs in um, area public schools. So, in the city, it'd be Detroit area public schools. You know, we actually have a program, it's called GREAT, and it's uh, Gang Resistance Education and Training. And what that does is it, it actually talks to kids and it empowers kids that they can say no to gangs so that they can, they can absolutely and positively know that they don't have to be in a gang to, to go to a school. They, you know, it shows them different avenues, conflict resolution, how to get out of, uh, be, if you're invited into a gang, how to have that self-esteem so you don't need a gang. If you want to have a gang, let's have a gang of academics. You know? Let's have a gang. A, a gang of individuals who do the right thing, and, and you know, maybe if you, so if you're going to talk about a group of individuals, and we use the word gang, and it always has a negative connotation, but you can have a gang of individuals that are, that are doing the right thing. So we have to look at the, the actual aesthetics of gangs and how how they form, what are the the catalysts of gangs, how do they survive, how do they perpetuate, and many times it's through the schools. And as those people said during the School Safety Summit hosted by Michigan's Children, everyone can make a difference. I am Tony Wells reporting from Detroit for Kids Speak Neighborhood News.